Hello everybody, Lunar Phoenix here, and today we are going to be doing a, a new series here where basically I'm going to show you how mods work. And so this episode we're going to be looking at Tinker's Constructs, specifically the smell tree. And so to get started on your Tinker's smell tree, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make some grout. And to make grout, you just put gravel, sand, clay, just like this, and boom, and then you can put the, you see I've already been smelting some here, you can put the grout in here and make some seared bricks and so as you can see you get one seared brick here and then I've already got some here and then you can make seared bricks like that and so we're gonna start building the smell tree and so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna mine out a little area like this uh, let's let's put these back alright so we're just gonna get started placing them down you don't you're not really limited much um, on size with this really you can build it you can have the base 11 by 11 maximum and build this as tall as you want and the minimum is to have one space in the middle here so let's let's finish this up a little bit all right place this all right you know what let me take this out I'll show you what we're gonna do there in a second I always like to have a little window on the front of my furnace here so you can kind of see what's going on inside and so um, one of the like the main part of the smeltery here is the smeltery controller and so we place this down but we actually can't use this yet you see there's this little black space right there once that's lit up it means that this smeltery is active because what we're actually going to need is we're going to need a tank to store our fuel so what we can do is actually there's three different types of tanks that we can use they all they're all functionally the same so I'm just gonna whoops uh, wow, okay, this pick is pretty fast, but, alright, so, oops, that's not how that goes there, alright, so, we have the seared window, seared tank, and seared gauge, and, oh yeah, I've got to show you, um, the recipe for these, this is the recipe for the seared gauge, seared tank, seared window, all pretty similar, and also the smell tree controller is just like this, so, all of these you can input lava which we're gonna grab real quick um, just grab a bunch of lava and we can just plop that in there like so put it in all of these if we want it doesn't matter because it's all now going to show up right here if we click on the smell tree controller you can see we put in seven boxes of lava right and so what we're gonna what we can do with this is now this allows us to heat up metals and such in our smell tree because the main point of the smell tree is to melt metals and then we can do what we want with them alright so we're just gonna input a bunch of iron and you can see here also that we have a bunch of slots here and the amount of slots you have is determined by the amount of inside space you have one slot for each block space in here and you also have a capacity here for how much metal you can store inside and um, for each block here, for each block space you have inside your smeltery, you get 8 ingots, so we're at 216. So we're going to let this heat up. Okay, so now as you can see, we've got 12 blocks of molten iron in our, in our smeltery here. So what we can actually do with this is, one of the main things that, um, that, that you do with molten metals and what stuff in this mod is to cast them into certain casts. So... If we, we can actually put these casting tables down and I'm going to put a casting base in here and um, what we need to do to be able to cast our metal into these is we actually need to put drains on here so oh yeah and let me show you the recipe for the casting table and casting base and just the reverse of the casting table pretty simple almost pretty much all of these recipes here are going to require um, seared these seared bricks oops and as you as you can see you can actually kind of break the back and the smelt controller will know if you break it like this, don't worry, it's not going to break your whole smelter. You won't lose all your all your um, metal, even if you break it and the metal stops showing up. Your smeltery controller, as long as you don't break this, it will rem remember what you have inside. So, alright, and now we've got our drains. And so, to actually get this out of our drains, and oh yeah, just show you the drain recipe, just like this. We're going to need to use these faucets. Alright, so we can place these down. Alright. And now what we can do with these faucets, if we right-click them, it will pour out the metal. And if we pour, 
this molten iron into this casting basin, it will form a block of iron. So you can use you can use this to get metal back out of your smelter here. And you can also put these casts right here down and then right click with this faucet, right click faucet again, and then you can cast your iron out into these casts. So here I have an ingot cast, so now I've got an ingot back, and I have a pickaxe head cast because in tink in the in this mod you can make your own tools. So that's that's a lot of what the smelter is about. Because you need to smelt your metals to be able to pour them into these casts. And another thing that you can actually do if you have other mods installed here, um, you can actually, for example, take the Ender IO fluid tank. You can actually pour directly into your tank there. So that's pretty cool. This does work with a lot of other mods. Also, say you have a drum, you could, and you could do this with the fluid fluid tank over there. You can use these Ender IO conduits or thermal expansion. Whatever, whatever conduits you know you have in your pack, you can actually use these to take out your metal. And now, as you can see, this drum is filled with molten iron. So that's pretty cool. So another important thing that you can do here with the Tinker Smeltery is actually alloying. And so one one alloy is called pig iron. And to make pig iron, you're actually going to need iron, clay, and then you're also going to need blood in your f seared furnace. And I'll show you how to get that in a second once these are all melted up. All right, so we've got our molten iron and our molten clay in there, and so to actually get blood in the smelter here, the easiest way is actually to just jump in yourself. And as you can see, as you get hurt, um, blood will form in the smelter. And as you can see, you see that pinkish, pink, pinkish liquid right there. That is actually pig iron. So if we get out before we die, we can actually see that we have six ingots of molten pig iron. And if we go over here, back. Back over here, we can actually cast an ingot of this. Just like that. And there we go. We've got a ingot of pig iron. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode today. So see you next time. Bye.